it's the 30th anniversary of Donna Karen. What a magnificent show. Come to celebrate her, and yeah, we're friends and we're fans. What I wanted to do was to really celebrate the elements. You know, each element that inspires me of New York, the body of New York, the woman of New York, the strength of New York, the sparkle of New York, the city lights of New York. understand what it takes with the four seasons and to create, constantly be creating at such a high level with such exposure and pressure for 30 years is astonishing. I mean Donna Karen is, she's so strong and so smart and it comes through in all of her designs and it's exciting that it's been 30 years. It, it doesn't seem like that. Um, and I think because every season her stuff feels so fresh. And it's not just her fashion. Donna, the woman, I mean her philanthropic work, she works so much in Haiti. She incorporates bringing art and philanthropy together. It's more than just the fashion. It's the way she lives her life. She's such a great example. And she loves to share all her wealth of knowledge and yeah. creativity with everyone else. She's, a She's curious. Artist. Very curious woman, keeps her young. When I saw Steven's thing, it was just like, I've never, it was such a reflection of how I feel inside the movement of the body, allowing the body to move, that it's not clothes that constrain you, you know, but clothes that allow you to move. What I wanted to say was to look at each piece, like the jacket, the skirt, the bodysuit, you know, and all the elements that were without a doubt, they couldn't be, I think they looked Donna Karen. <laughs> Like she started with seven easy pieces and really that mindset is in every piece that you buy because you feel like you can wear it over and over again you feel the best you've ever felt it's feminine it's but it has a little bit of masculinity and you feel sexy and smart and like a little a lot like her and I think that um, you know she's a wonderful example of such a strong New York woman Well, I still, I love tailoring. You know, I love working with artists. I love working, you know, having come from India, I love working with the beading. You know, and I love how we were able to capture what I believe with the streets of New York. You know, so it was a, sort of like that it wasn't really Don and Karen, but it was more about New York. And it was a reflection of New York. I think I'm more of a fan than Donna Karen. For me, um, I moved to New York, and uh, when I first came here, I was like, who epitomizes New York City? And that's the woman. I think she's so chic, so effortless. I mean, I wore it for my engagement party. I mean, Donna is like a timeless type of designer, and the draping, the way she really fits it and hugs a woman's body, I love. I have always looked very good in Donna Karen. <laughs> yeah. 
and it was also a reflection back over my years of pieces that are not about a season, but there's something that I hopefully will last forever, and it's like anything that it needs that nuance. You know, it's not like I took my old clothes and put it out there. You know, everything is geared for today and tomorrow. I like her designs a lot because they're effortless and, and um, very practical for living in the city. You can tell she's a real woman who's trekking around like the rest of us. and. Um, so her, her dresses fit seamlessly into, you know, my closet. I felt that it was very emotional uh, for Donna, um, but also just dripping with glamour and sexiness with this great edge. I loved all the sheer um, skirts and dresses and the embellished pieces. I love how she tucked her big jackets and belted them over a, a beautiful evening dress. She really showed evening wear in a way that the young downtown girl would wear it in a modern, glamorous way. I mean, this is a big, big moment, you know, and uh, I'm just so happy to be a part of it and to come to the show and kind of pay on homage and honor kind of a legend, really, you know, and it's it's so different to the DKNY line. And this is the first time I've ever been to a Donna Karen show, and it's so nice and refreshing to kind of see two different sides of her. Oh, my God, it's really actually over 40. So it's like the 30, you know, it's like I keep hearing 30 and go, I'm, you know, 30 is nothing. It's the real number that I really have flipped by. <laughs> you know, you know, yes, 30 years of Donna Karen, yes, that's a lot. But, you know, since I've been designing since I'm, um, <clears throat> that's another story. <laughs> I am a designer who, if I didn't do this, I, it's like drinking, you know, juice. It's a green juice, a bodysuit, and yoga, it's all the same thing to me. I wouldn't know what to do if I didn't. You know, I'm a designer. <laughs>